welcome back to another episode. This is episode six of my journey home from Phoenix to Seattle. If you guys watched my last episode, this is a direct continuation of that video. I just ended that video and starting this one. So yesterday I explored the Crater Lake area. That was last episode. This is the next episode where I'm meeting my brother and his girlfriend, Catherine, at Tamulich Lake, AKA the Blue Lagoon in Central Oregon. Without further ado, let's get into this episode. Let's get into this adventure, episode six. Let's get it. Okay, so we are just about to the Tamalich Trailhead. We've been driving for about three hours already this morning. We are finally almost there. One thing I'm noticing though on my drive out here is that a lot of the spots that I've passed so far are looking very, very busy already. And so I imagine that this spot that we're going to is also gonna be very, very busy because it is a popular spot and I'm sure that parking is abysmal right now, I can imagine. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Hopefully we get lucky, I guess. But nonetheless, I'm almost there. I'll be reunited with my brother and his girlfriend soon. It's been over a month since I've seen them. The last time I seen them was when they visited me in Phoenix and we went golfing. Just a couple more minutes and we will be at our destination. Yep, just what I suspected. Parking is absolutely insanity right now. Holy cow, look at this. Absolutely asinine. <laughs> I guess we're parking a ways away and walking in. <laughs> uh, that's lovely. There's no way somebody just left and I got their spot. Oh baby. Thank you Jesus, the good Lord above. I literally just pulled up almost to the trailhead and there was two people walking out and I'm like, hey, you guys leaving? They're like, yep. Boom, got their spot. That's insane. Literally almost to the front. People are parked like a mile away walking in and I literally got a spot like almost at the front. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but now my brother and his girlfriend got to find a spot. So hopefully they get lucky as well. <laughs> there they are. Hello. Back at it again. A little different than our last adventure. We are golfing in Phoenix. Yeah. Now we're hiking through the woods. Oh, we got some scenery. <laughs> we're on our way to the blue pool. <laughs> Tamilich Lake. It's about two and a quarter mile high again. So let's go check it out. Influencer Catherine. <laughs> Stop. This will be my first hike with people in like a month. All right, Catherine, tell the people, what episode is this? Episode six. Go tell them to go watch the other five, too. Don't watch the other five <laughs> unless you want to snooze. But yes, episode six, journey home from Phoenix to Seattle. And we're back with some uh, familiar faces. Yeah. We are. We're you guys, in Oregon you guys right remember now. Kill from hitting the house in Phoenix yeah. with the golf ball. <laughs> Playing remember it at the, Catherine at the Korean from barbecue. Serving Korean barbecue. <laughs> and now we're in Oregon. <laughs> Holy dude. Ice, dude. Ice. What is it? Ice ball. I hit a mosquito and I felt it on my hand. That's how big it was. Like hitting a like hitting a badminton? Yes. It's like playing birdie. badminton when you're hitting these yes. mosquitoes. Literally. They're so big. How's the view? Not bad. The pool is somewhere up here. All the way down. Make it happen. Oh, it is. Lightning. You're getting close. We got informed by a fellow hiker. It's just around the corner. Let's go. I'm excited to see this thing. It should be epic. I'm 
made it. This water is insanely clear. Look at that. Here, Blue Pool, Oregon, somewhere, that kind, I don't know. <laughs> no matter where you go, there's always gonna be haters. Just make sure you got your hater blocks on. <laughs> Pretty big on the checklist. So I was told that this water is 37 degrees. So let's hike down and give it a feel and we'll see if we get in. 37 degrees is freezing. Yeah, it's pretty dang cold. Long line. <laughs> okay, we just got back to the car and we are heading out of here now. We had to cut the visit a little bit short because somebody decided to jump from the top of the cliff on that lake and uh, broke his leg, apparently. That's what they're saying, that he upon impact because it's a tall cliff it's probably like a hundred foot cliff he hit the water in, cer in a certain way just right that where it snapped his leg they're saying like a compound fracture on his femur his femur that is brutal so just send him prayers his way praying that the lord is with him giving him peace some healing over that because that's just rough that sucks so much i feel really bad for him um search and rescue came down and closed the pool down they were kicking everyone out Rightfully so, they needed to get in and be able to properly rescue him. And so we had to get out of there. And so now we're back in the car and we're gonna go to a different lake. But yeah, it sucks seeing stuff like that, man. It's such a bummer. I feel bad for the guy. Hopefully he recovers well and recovers soon and recovers stronger than he was before. In Jesus' name. This will be home for the night. Catherine's gonna make dinner. This is on uh, Big Lake. This wasn't even our original campsite. We just found this one. First come, first serve. It looked a lot better than our original one that we booked. So now we're gonna stay here. Right? Yeah, sometimes it's just... Um, sometimes it works out well. the way it's supposed to, you know? Yes. So now we're just getting set up. Might pump the paddle boards up. Just hanging out the rest of the evening. Caleb and Catherine had to go back to town because they need to get some water and some other stuff, so. I opted to stay behind and pump up all three of these paddle boards. <laughs> it is going to be a workout, but I could use a workout. I've been on the road for eight days, haven't lifted in eight days, so I'm willing to pump up all three of these paddle boards by hand and get a little workout in, and then we're going to enjoy a little sunset paddle. So let's get after this.
All right, all three boards are officially pumped up. That was a workout. Let's get them down to the water. Alrighty, the boards are on the water. They're not back yet, but I think I might change and jump in just to cool off after all that, man. Whoo! What a workout. That was good though, it feels good. See, so yeah, I'm gonna get changed and then jump in, I think, before they get back, cool off. Beautiful out here. <laughs> Feels so good. This water is so refreshing and it's so clear. You can see all the way down to the bottom, even in the middle of the lake. Stuff like this, man. Can't beat this. Cannot beat this. In a mountain lake, just hanging out, swimming, paddleboarding. It's the best. <laughs> so good. They just got back from the store. It looks like. Look at these folks. Got all the goodies from the store. The lake is so clear though. This? You can like see the bottom in the middle. Yeah. It was it's nice. It no felt, felt there, really man. good. Look at all the goodies we got for tonight, man. Mango. Mango. This is about to be a good. Say it. Say it in the comments. Mango. <laughs> this is about to be a good, good evening, guys. Nux. Nux for camping trips. Not much of it. Oh. All right, let's snack a little bit and then we'll probably go do a sunset paddle, but. The beautiful mountain over there. Let's get it, going back out. <gasps> Look, there's a blob. Yeah, that's the youth camp over there. The summer, oh yes. It's like the, yeah, That's what I had on the youth mind. camp. Big old blob over there. I love being blob. Yeah. I don't know what mountain this is, but it's pretty sweet looking. I think it's Mount Washington. I remember seeing a sign literally pointing and saying Mount Washington. I think it was this peak. Which is funny that Mount Washington is in Oregon. <laughs> what? Can I take a photo of me in front of the mountain? What? Take a picture of me after, yeah. so I can post it on the gram for the people. Nobody even wants to see it. She's probably right. This water is so nice. It's so clear. 
Found this beautiful little cove back here. It's like the perfect time of day to go paddleboarding too. It's just the evening, sun's starting to set. It's starting to calm down a little bit. This is summer living right here. Yeah. All right, let's see it. That was about the least graceful way I've ever seen someone get in the water off a paddleboard. But that's a trick. He's in. How is it? How is it? Woo! Feels good. Right. Feels mighty nice. Come on. Come on, you little chunks. You getting in? Yeah. <laughs> He's just kicking it. Little turtle. <laughs> little turtle. A little turtle on this paddleboard. I'm gonna get into. Should I put? I'm just gonna wait. We're all getting in. Let's do it. You know, I try to get home early, but I know that ain't the case. Well, I think I'm gonna have to go back to the hotel. Oh, yeah. 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 Got the fire going. Getting some food going. Get some snacky poos in there. Got changed into some cozier clothes because it got a little chilly coming out of that water. Sun is setting. We're in for a good night, man. <laughs> Heck yeah. Back in the PW summer activities. Good to be back. This is my favorite part when we got the fire going, you start smelling the smoke. Oof. So good. All right, what are we making here, Catherine? Some chicken shawarma sandwiches. Oh my. And then maybe chicken lamb slices on there. Yeah, what is that, Sean? This is shawarma. This is this is shawarma chicken. This is lamb slices. Oh, there's no label. No, this, I think it was in a box. And we got some ciabatta bread from Trader Joe's. Some medium salsa. Oh my lord. The red wine vinny dressing for a Greek salad to put with the sandwiches for some salt. Peanut butter brownie cookie um, rookie. Oh my. Yum yum. I don't even eat this good when I'm home. <laughs> let alone camping. Why? Well, let's go. Maybe I should uh, go camping with you guys more often. We got a feast coming in, man. <laughs> Something yeah. good. You should have brought oh my lord. Look at this. That looks incredible. But I don't even deserve this. Cheers. Cheers. I our table. That's pretty dang good. Oh, wait, you did. You guys want another one? You guys can put the second one. Ship is sinking past the whiskey. I guess you could get extra meat on it. Give me my. I might as well eat this. So good. All right, I'm gonna scarf this down. Dessert time. What are these? Peanut butter cookie brownies. Peanut butter cookie brownies. Brookies. That's a brownie and a cookie. Fudgy brownie. Batter topped with peanut butter cookie batter baked together for a sweet combination of two favorite treats. But let's give it a go. Mmm, bomb. That's pretty freaking good, man. Perfect. Dude, how is it so like moist? I'm telling you, Trader Joe's knows secrets. It looks drier than a dang desert and it's moist. Can you guys see the mosquitoes on there? Look at how many mosquitoes are above us right now. Dude, this is ridiculous. The mosquitoes out here are insanely bad, but luckily they're not bugging us like incredible amounts. The smoke from the fire does help keeping them at bay, but they definitely are still landing and still biting about every couple minutes. Don't know why God created bugs, but he did. So here we are. As I'm saying, that one's biting my eyebrow off. 
Dude, I'm getting bit like, in my hair. I'm getting bit on my eye. What? <laughs> now we got s'mores. I go for the more slow roasted golden brown. Catherine goes for the seared outside and completely raw inside. <laughs> no. She's basically, look at that. That's blasphemy. <laughs> and we also put the chocolate near the fire so it melts a little bit. Oh yeah. That's a perfectly constructed s'more, folks. Wait for the squish. Dude. You better eat that before it falls. Oh. On the other side, hurry. It's hot as hell. <laughs> I just scolded my tongue. <laughs> Alright, cheers. Dude, your beard. That's so how you know you made a good s'more when it gets all in your beard. Oh, it's so good. Alrighty, it's about that time. Get everything put away and hit the hay. I'm so tired. I'm do some more exploring tomorrow. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. So, good morning. We've just been hanging out this morning, taking it slow, making coffee, doing some reading, had a little morning campfire, just relaxing. I didn't film very much of it just because I wanted to be present, taking the moment, and just soak up the morning goodness. But it is now about 10 a.m., and we're gonna go back out in the water on the paddle boards. Do a little morning paddle sash, a little morning lake plunge. Then we'll be packing up and getting out of here. Going to a river spot. It's called Steelhead Falls. And that is where we'll be hanging out today. So yeah, it's been a good morning. Good slow morning. Just taking it in, enjoying ourselves. But let's get out on the lake. Let's do some paddle boarding. Getting the boards prepped. There's like these little lake bugs that are out here. And there's hundreds of them. Don't know what kind of bugs they are, but there's like 20 on Caleb's board. He's trying to clean them all up. What a beautiful morning out here on the lake. Yeah, Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> out on Big Lake. Mountain behind us. Beautiful, beautiful morning. The sun is shining. It's nice and warm. The water. Super nice, clean, clear, super inviting. We'll, we'll dip in a little bit later. Good, good morning. Back it up, girl. Let's go for a little dip. Beautiful swimming hole. Let's take a dip. You! Quick little swim session. Now we're gonna paddle back to camp, start getting packed up, and then we'll be making our way over to Steelhead Falls, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, so we're gonna go pack up and then get out of here, drive about an hour to a place called Steelhead Falls and give that a look. It's already a great day so far, a great morning. Let's keep it rolling. We are back to the camp. Starting to get packed up here. Cheers. Okay, we made it onto the trail. Heading to Steelhead Falls, just north of Bend. It is warm out, it's about 90 degrees. So it's the perfect day for a waterfall. Perfect day to go swimming, maybe do some cliff jumping. It's only about a half mile hike too, so it's not bad at all. And we'll be down there in no time. Let's get after it. We have got the cooler with all the snacks, all the goodies. Beautiful canyon back here. Still just manhandling this cooler all the way down here. Getting after it, doing the work, doing the hard work.
we're heading down to the water to take a dip. We just have to climb down this literal cliff first. <laughs> and the ground is super hot from the sun. I have no flip flops. My feet are burning. <gasps> Ow! I stubbed my toe on a rock, dude. Here I come. Can we hold it? Save me if I fall. I can't. I got this scoop right here. Ah, ooh, we made it. Alright, we made it. Let's go get in the water. You guys yeah, gonna yeah. jump, you think? Yeah, easy. Easy. Got them. She's like a maybe. I think it's time we go jump this thing. You guys said. Set it, dude. Do it. Alright, let's head up there. Let's head up there and do a little Sandy backy. There we go. Successful backflip. I did not hit my butt cheeks, which is always a good thing. I love being able to just to get to a swimming hole and just send it back. It's so fun. Alrighty. We're just getting packed up here now, and then we'll be heading back to the car. We go back to the hotel, we cleaned up, and then we're gonna get some dinner. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back to the car. We are heading south, back into Bend. And we have a hotel for tonight. So we're heading to the hotel right now. I'm um, clean up. And then we're gonna go grab some dinner in Bend. And just have a good old casual night in the town of Bend. Relax a little bit. We made it. Two king beds. This is too much for a peasant like me. And that was an Arizona. Right, watch out, bed test. It was an Arizona. That sounded horrible. Oh. These are right. Definitely not the most soft or squishy, but it's, it'll do. So. Good morning. It is actually the next day now. Got out, completely forgot to film anything, so I didn't capture none of it. We just had a casual night out, went to dinner, had some food, and then we went home, went to bed. So nothing crazy, nothing, nothing too entertaining to film anyways. Um, but now we are heading to the golf course for our tea time. Well, I know I told you guys I would probably film some golf. Um, got to our tee time a little late, so I was rushing out of the car. Got all the way to the first hole. Started playing. Went to uh, pull the GoPro out and film some stuff. Realized I left the GoPro in my car. And so I did not film any golf at all. Oh man, I'm doing bad at this YouTube thing. But we just finished. It was a fun round of golf. Uh, and I apologize if we didn't film any of it, but we had a good time. Played a cool golf course here in Bend, Oregon. And we are heading back into town. We're gonna go to our hotel, check in, get showered up, get cleaned up. All right, this is home for our second night. Do you love it? <laughs> it's a little bit of an interesting place, but uh, just for a night. Look at those curtains, man. Straight out of the 70s. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's portable. Bed check. Excuse me. It's actually not bad. I think it's better than the other place. And the carpet, straight out of the 70s too. Or 80s, or 60s, I don't really know, but it's something old. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the door. It's not even sealed. You can see outside. Huh? Rats could just come right through here. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that this place has uh, some character, if we can call it that. <laughs> but like I said, it's just for one night, so it does the trick, I guess. It is the next 
day now. It is Wednesday, the day after the 4th of July. We are heading north. I'm going to be finishing up my last little stint of driving on this journey home from Phoenix to Seattle right now. It's about six hours back to Seattle from Bend. That'll be the last little stretch of driving and then we are home sweet home. It's crazy, crazy to think about how far I've gone, how far I've driven already on this trip. I was in Phoenix and now tonight I'm going to be in Seattle. Yeah, so we just gotta grind out these six hours and then we'll be home and that will conclude this journey home from Phoenix to Seattle. I am officially back in the state of Washington. That is insane. I have been gone from this state four and a half, almost five months, and now I'm finally back home in my state of Washington. It was really, really good. Well, I am officially back in my hometown, Seattle. And with that, that concludes this episode and that concludes this journey home from Phoenix all the way to Seattle. What a journey it was. I saw so many amazing places, so many amazing views. I'm so grateful and so humbled to have had that experience. It was absolutely fantastic to see all those parks, to see all those landscapes. So, so cool. And it's crazy to say that I am finally home. The journey is over. So as always, thanks you guys for watching. Thanks for being here. And subscribe so you don't miss future adventures. Now that I'm back home in the PNW, there's gonna be a lot of summer adventuring going on up here. Camping, hiking, doing all kinds of fun stuff up here in Washington. Um, summers up here are a blast, so I'm looking forward to it. So be sure to subscribe and don't miss any of those adventures. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.